Hi guys, Steve here, and I'm really excited to show you the incubator. It's extraordinary, and exactly what we needed. Excellent, in fact. Four egg puns in the first 10 seconds? Exceptional. You can build the incubator when you reach level 89. It needs 100 cementing paste, 200 crystals, 250 electronics, 500 metal, and 350 polymer. And it can be crafted in the fabricator. You only can place three incubators next to each other. See in the top middle? Two out of three. I'll put that one over here. When you place them down, they need to be powered. You can use a normal generator or tech one. I'll show you how far we have to go before we can place the next batch of incubators. We start here. And we've got to go all the way down here. Put the next lot down. From there, all the way across there. So you might have to do one hell of a long base. But you'll get plenty of exercise. Right, let's get some eggs. And I'll show you how it works. The wyverns have been busy. Get some Rex ones as well. I've only got one. I'm carrying a couple as well. Go to your incubator, open up its inventory. Yours is on the left, incubators is on the right. Transfer them over. By looking at the screen, you can tell if they're going to be male or female. Each screen has got a little symbol on the left. Rex ones in as well. Show you a quick look at a readout. It also tells you in the top middle what sex it is, by blue or pink, and what level it's going to come out as. The slot number it's in, then a timer ticking down to tell you how long it's going to take to incubate. Starting on the left you have a big blue bar. Egg incubation tells you in a percentage how long until the egg's done before you can hatch it. The red bar on the left is the egg's health. If it reaches zero, the egg will spoil and the creature will die. And then the grey bar below that, incubation boost. That's showing us zero at the moment because we need to adjust the temperature, which we'll be doing next. You see the coloured readout bar on the bottom left that reads current temperature. You'll need to adjust the white needle bar on the left until it goes into the green zone in the centre. That means it's a perfect incubation temperature for that egg. To do that, go to the control panel. In the centre of a menu, you can see the current temperature. Go to temperature controls in the bottom left. Then you can increase the temperature by 10, 5 or 1 degree. When you're getting closer to the right temperature, the colour on the readouts will change. Here it's too high. Let's lower it. Temperature controls, lower it by 10. And again, 75 at a the moment. Then check the egg. That's too cold for the void wire of an egg. Let's increase it by 10. And you see right in the middle, the readout needle is right in the green. Meaning over void wire of an eggs will get an incubation boost of 20%. Cutting down the time it will take to hatch them. Now obviously if you put different eggs in there like the Rex ones, they'll need to be set at a different temperature. So they don't have the incubation boost. They will still hatch normally, and you can see how long it will take just under the slot number. So to get the best results, it's best to have the same kind of egg in each incubator. Right, let's look for an egg with a mutation. We can talk about the right side of the readout. In the centre bottom, you can see the parent category, in pink and blue. What names are, and what levels they were. It's telling me that there are zero mutations on the female and male side. But here on this egg, it's telling me there's one mutation on the female side. The level number of that creature will also go up if there's a mutation. And you can compare the stats on the right with the other eggs to see which stat the mutation went into. Each creature has a certain amount of points, and the more points there is in that stat, the better it is. Like this one will have good melee damage and food, as it's got higher points in those stats. Let's see if we can find them another mutation. There's one, also on its mother's side. 
above a statue of coloured blocks. And that tells you what colours your creature will be. Each of those blocks represent a different colour area of a creature. So you get a rough idea of what it's going to look like before it hatches. The temperature on this incubator needs to be changed. It's due to a cold. There you go, perfect. Once you've done the temperature for one incubator, if the eggs are all the same, you can just carry the number over. All the eggs there will get the incubation boost and hatch 20% faster. I've skipped forward a bit, and all the readouts are flashing, meaning the eggs are ready to hatch. Once they reach this stage, you cannot take them out of the incubator, so you're going to have to hatch or destroy them. If you want to get rid of them, click on the egg you want to dispose of, then click Crack Egg, Destroy, and that will mercifully kill the little babies. And then you can look for and select the egg you want. Click on it to select it. Then hatch egg. And you'll start popping out little babies. There we go. Got an army of wyverns. Claim them all. Just do four. And if you want a mummy to look after them, you can use a May Wing. Go up to them and press control. <laughs> uh, looks like it's eat eating them all. Put them in little baskets. Take them back to the parents. And turn on enable nursing. Bitty. And your babies shall be looked after. Let's claim these as well. And that's how you use the egg incubator. If you get eggs that need to be hatched underwater, then you'll need to build an incubator underwater as well. I hope you found this video extra helpful. I wouldn't want you to ignore it. And I hope this video was exactly what you needed. If this video is helpful for you, please like, subscribe, click the bell notifications and all, and share it with your friends. There's links to other videos at the end. Comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye.